44,000. Thank you for joining us for ISB HPK The News. I'm Priest Tahawan Mayam. With me today is uh, Priest Lachama. Shalom. Priest Arya Amma One. Shalom. And Priest Kwatsazap Ash. Shalom. And uh, as y'all know, we do the news um, and try to bring out the recent events and occurrences that have, that have been playing through CNN, Fox, and everybody else that's been lying to you. And uh, we try to shed a little light from a biblical perspective. So that's what we're going to be doing today is giving the, giving the facts and the, uh, and the numbers and everything that you've already seen. But we're going to give you more of a biblical perspective on why these things occur and uh, what the solution is. All right. So uh, we're starting now with the uh, the cop killings, the recent cop killings, right? Right. 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 So uh, you know, obviously, you know, karma tells you one thing, right? If you want to go into Hinduism, you got karma. Right. Uh, what goes around comes around. Nice Western saying, right? Right. right. And course. then of course, what the Bible says, right. which we're going to be going through a lot, right? Right. right. Yeah. So uh, you know, I mean. Is it's pretty obvious to me what the problem is. You know, they they kill people. People want to kill them. I mean, I mean that's the nat <laughs> that's the natural ca uh, cause or course of of nature, right? Right, right. The, the, what they got Isaac Newton said that right for right. every action, there's an equal, equal and opposite, opposite reaction. reaction. Right. So that's that's plenty of quotes right there, right? <laughs> right. But I, that. I think some of the reactions are far fetched, made up. I mean, the angle that these people send. See, it's one angle when a, when a brother get killed, they just got one angle. But when a cop gets killed, they got Zoom. They got, uh, you know, they got, they, they got three other cameras, one from the bank, <laughs> right, one from right. the gas station. One on the office yeah. when he got so shot. I'm a little skeptical on 20 people being killed at one time, and then there ain't no bodies. There ain't no... It's like they're reaching. Yeah, it's like they're, they're, they're actually setting up these... Uh, illusions right you know what i mean so that you won't you won't be fully persuaded to go to war with them mm -hmm. you won't be fully persuaded to to uh to 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 dedicate your mind to the most high christ because you would think like like it's it's happening everywhere so i gotta i gotta uh prep i gotta get yeah. ready but they're staging these things while they're killing us man that's that's what i see that brings me, uh, there was an old TV show in the 50s and 60s. It was called Get Smart. And you had these two agencies. You had chaos and you had control. Right. right? And in order for them to have control, they created chaos. It is. So it's like, I, I totally understand where you're coming from. Because in order to scare the people, well, look, this is the reason why we're acting out the way right. we are. Because, right. look, the black man, he's shooting the cops down. Right. He's doing this. They're, they're doing this. So we have the right to defend ourselves. We have to have control. We have to have order. And they're not even asking if, you know, just because you see a gun doesn't mean he doesn't have it registered. Right. And for them to shoot them down like that, it, it, obviously they're wrong. But then for them, I feel like they stage these other situations to take the heat off of them. to kind make of us gives look, them sympathy. Right, like, and it, it makes yeah. us look like animals. Right, right. Like, yeah, see, that's how you got to deal with them people. Right. Hmm. Chaos okay. and control. All right. Control chaos. Control well, the chaos. For yeah. me, man, for you know, because I'm I'm with you on the conspiracy angle mm -hmm. that for one, uh, what happened in Dallas, right? right? Uh, he shot what eleven cops, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. With expert marksman like precision, right? Right. right. Hit eleven cops only in a whole crowd of people. Only the cops he hit eleven. Yeah. And five of them he killed, right? Right. Uh, and then they take this 485 pound robot mm. that moves about two miles an hour <laughs> and they were able to deliver a bomb to this person and blow him completely apart except for his identification that was intact which is oh. made out of plastic that's like 9 yeah. That's the, yeah that's the 9-11 effect oh. but, here, but, but here's the thing man. <laughs> regardless right? right five cops are dead in Dallas three cops are dead in uh, Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge, Rouge. Louisiana, yeah. right. and three wounded mm -hmm. by this uh, what was his name, Gavin uh, Gavin Long, mm -hmm. right? So, from my angle, this is obviously the Most High getting his retribution, mm -hmm. right? And I'm, I'm gonna start off with uh, Obadiah chapter one and verse ten because we know that uh, when you go biblically in the history, uh, Esau's blessing, Esau's blessing was that. 
he was going to be living by the sword. He was right. going to have that sword. Of course. Uh, was it Genesis uh, 27. 27, I believe. Yeah. And it was said, his blessing was, by, the, by thy sword, you shall live. Right? Right. right? right. So we know that Esau, the so-called white man, that's their blessing. Right? So, you know, before Negroes start getting all up in arms and think they're going to have a, a fighting chance. Right? Mm -hmm. They're blowing up people with robots. Right. All right. The police have a robot that blows up things. All right. This was supposed to be used in the military. All right. right. This thing was actually supposed to be used to disarm bombs. Disarm bombs, right? Not deliver bombs. Yeah. And I like this angle is that the first person to ever be blown up by one of these things on U.S. soil got to be a black man. Yeah, of course. That's how they test out a lot of things. Yeah, of course. Right? They, they put it in these. the black community. Yeah, yeah. They, did right? it, they started with gonorrhea, now they got robots. Well, they got right? robots so it's skeezy experiments, yeah. right? So right. We, we already know how they work. We know right. how they operate. Go ahead. All right? Well, read that, uh, Obadiah 1, verse 20. Obadiah chapter uh, 1. 1, verse 10. Excuse okay. Me. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. See, for your violence against your uh, against your brother, uh, the so-called white man is actually, you know, historically and biblically brother to the so-called black man. Right. All right. They were just cursed by the Most High. Mm -hmm. So for their violence against their brother, us, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, uh, so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Dominicans, Guatemalans, and Panamanians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, the so-called Mexicans, for their violence against these people, it says shame shall cover you. See right. that? Right. Go ahead. And thou shalt be cut off forever. And you're going to be cut off forever. This is a promise by God in Christ, all right, by the Most High in Christ, to the so-called white man, the so-called wicked uh, of this nation. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I want to open it up with that because this is retribution. The Most High promised it. Once again, this is one of the only books. Actually, it is the only book where the God of the people makes promises that you can see being kept every day. Mm -hmm. See that? Right, right. You don't get that in uh, the Bhagavad Gita. You don't get that in the uh, in, uh, in uh, the, uh, the Quran. You don't get that in uh, the Tao Te Ching. Uh, you don't get that in any any Buddhist handbook, anything like that. But you get it in the scriptures. Of course. Where this God, right, promises that these things will happen. And as you flip your news on every day, <clears throat> there it is happening. I got one to go right with it. What you got? What you got? I got 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 6. Okay. Let's go there. I'm going to read that. It says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Mm. So it's shown that the Most High, it's a righteous thing for the Most High to do what he's doing. Right, to right. These, to, the, to, to our brother that is troubling us. He's putting us through tribulation. So the Most High is rewarding that tribulation. Right. right. You see, it's a righteous thing with the Most High. That's weird. I, I mean, w watching the news, and I'm going to let you come in, but watching right. the news, the recent one was you got a guy who's a, who's basically a nursemaid to this handicapped person, this mentally handled, handicapped person. Down in Florida. Florida. He's laying yeah, yeah. on his back. Hands raised. With his hands raised <laughs> like this. There is no reason that he should be considered a threat. Yeah. He's trying to tell his handicapped friend that has a toy truck in his hand not to not to make moves or anything like Calm that down, right. because he knows that the cops are psycho mm -hmm. and they're going to blow him off the damn map i'm surprised they didn't use a robot on him for this right. Tonka truck, for this Tonka <laughs> truck you know what i mean right um but he's telling the the handicapped person hey you know calm down calm down and and, and don't move and everything like that He's got his hands raised while he's laid completely out on his back, and he's letting everybody know he's on arm. Please don't shoot me, right? And he feels what he says. He That's said he like felt a, like a beast. Like a mosquito bite. Yeah. He knew he got shot, and he yeah. still got his hands in the air, right? So for all you idiots that you know, and I gotta say this for all you idiots that are out there sitting there like, well, if he just didn't make any sudden movements, or if he just wasn't dressed that way. Like they did with the Trayvon Martin, yeah, right, the yeah. uh, Geraldo, the fe the butthead, yeah, the yeah, butthead came out there and was like, "Oh well, if he didn't have the hoodie on, the gangster wear, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, have been really, killed. a hoodie is gangster wear now? All them niggas in the Ugh. Olympics are dressed like that. Well, I gotta make sure when I leave players. the gym right. from now on, that no I hoodie. don't have on no gangster wear, yeah. right? No hoodie, <laughs> oh. no champion, yeah, right. no Nike. Yeah. So for all those, this guy was laid out." With his hands in the air, you know what I mean? 
was stretched completely out on his back with no weapons. No visible weapons and no weapons on him. And right? Still got shot. And still got shot. And when he asked the cop, why did you shoot me? The cop said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's your answer to why did I, sh- why did I shoot you? Yeah. Why did I shoot you sitting next to a mentally handicapped person? Both unarmed. You know what? <laughs> um, <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, it's and, sad. And, and I'm going to just say this. In Genesis, in Genesis chapter 9, verse 6, okay. it says, Whoso shed of man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. Mm. 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 It says, For in the image of God may, uh, may he man. Right. So it's not your job to kill and destroy. We were created. We are all created in the image of the Most High. So for you to take it on you to go out and kill and to shed blood, just know that your same, the same way you did them is how you gonna be done. Right, right. Let me let me drop this real quick. I'm gonna let you come right in. <laughs> just on his point. Let's go to Revelation 18 and six. Go ahead. Let me read that. It says, Re- "Reward her, even as she rewarded you." So it's showing that they're going to get back what they give. Yeah. But not by us. But not well, by us. Of course. Oh, not most by I us. said, vengeance is mine. Yeah, it's, right. it's, it's, I know you set set us up, right. They try to set us up in Dallas. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. 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 Right. By all means, no, we can't we do that. that. And it says, yeah. double unto her according to her works. So you're going to get double according to your works. That's, mm-hmm. on, that's a good way or a bad way. Absolutely. And it's not coming from us holding shotguns in the streets. Mm-hmm. Right. It's going to come right. from some rare disease that slides through your whole community. Right, oh. wipe you out. You know that oh. came from. Oh, listen, it's, it's going to come from these cycles. Uh, the is also these post traumatic. Like oh. Gavin Long. Yeah, uh, oh. his uh, his mom was saying he had PTSD, mm. and that uh, he was he was every time he'd see one of those uh, police shootings, he'd go rile them up. Yeah, you know what mm. I mean. Now this guy is military trained. He's ex military. Mm. All these military guys know one thing: they go over there, they have rules of engagement. You don't shoot unless you get shot at. <laughs> right. We put on this uniform. We don't get shoot unless we get shot at. See that? So why is it they don't can't bring those rules of engagement over here? If you're a cop and you're that scared of a mentally retarded person with a Tonka truck, you know what I mean? <laughs> you shouldn't be a cop. Yeah, well, like the negotiator. Right. Right. Taser. The, right. they're, they're, Tasing, they're, mace, mace, the baton. The <laughs> they're here to get rid of us. Hand to hand combat. Long yeah. story short, they're here to kill us off. Right. They've been here to kill us off. Slavery ain't stopped. They've been killing us back in the slavery days. They're killing us now. It's not going to change. Right, right. And then they just going to keep coming up with these fake reenactments of terrorist attacks in other countries and other parts of the city so that we think that America's going to shit. Uh, we got to buck up, get guns, so they can keep killing us. Because the Chinese ain't over there uh, uh, stacking M- M16s and you know, they're, they're not a threat. You look at the, the, the nations walking around in America, they're not under attack. They're under attack by America, you know what I mean? But, well, well, when the last time you seen a Chinese kid with his brain scattered on the, on the sidewalk over some Skittles? Like, by, his own, see, by his own by police. Right, right, you don't see them things. That's yeah. how you know it's personal. Yeah. This is like he said earlier. This is that Jacob and Esau thing. Well, it's because we're not, we're not in our place, bro. That's the thing. I mean, think about it. The Chinese on Chinese, you ain't gonna see that. Now, if you want to get, if you want to get on a technical basis, uh, go to Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. Mm-hmm. Give me uh, verse fifteen, real quick. Just read that real quick. Because I mean, we can, we can all. It's, it. We know, we know that Esau hates us, and we know that it, it bur- it's been perpetuated through through history. Esau has always been at our throats because because we got the blessing from from our father. Right, right. Right? But check this out. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Now, if you first want to fix a situation, you have to understand the root where it stems from. Okay. Right. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. We got to realize that we're in a cursed estate right now. Mm-hmm. Why? Be, uh, verse 47. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. So when we left out of, in, when we left out of captivity, when we were in captivity for 420 years, and then we go into our promised land, and we were told the stipulation, we have to serve the Most High with all our heart, right? To serve him and to do all his commandments and his judgments and his statutes, which he commanded that time, at that moment, right? 
But we we chose to take the other path. We chose to go left. You see that? So it says, be, so because we service not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart and abundance of all things, all these curses are going to come on us, mm -hmm. right? Okay. One of these curses is uh, verse, um, uh, no, verse 50. Verse 50. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of old. These people don't regard anybody. They don't regard a, per, a, a, a kid with autism. They don't regard an old an elder lady. You, you know what? Read verse 49. Read verse, ahead, 49. verse 49. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, uh -huh. from the end of the earth. So we were in Israel, mm -hmm. right? Right. In Jerusalem and all that. And the Most High brought a nation from far, right? Right. From the ends of the earth, right? So from where we were, the Eastern Hemisphere. Right. And the Western Hemisphere is the ends of the earth for us. We, we, we weren't inhabiting over here. This was barely where the white man was coming over here establishing his nation, right? All right? By murdering over 100 million Native Americans. Mm -hmm. But establishing his nation, right? right? So he comes from far and he comes over to Jerusalem and Israel and he decides he's going to be that nation that comes against us from mm -hmm. afar. Mm -hmm. Right, go ahead. As swift as the eagle fly. Because okay. what, you, you know see what the mascot that, right? is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. the mascot, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. From the beginning, right? From, from, uh, from uh, who was it? Greece. From Greeks to Rome, right? Right. Boom. Modernized, modernized Gre Greco-Roman era. Yeah. We just call it America now. Yeah. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Because this isn't our natural language. This this broken this broken dialect of what they call English, this is the language. Oh yeah, and then the, what the the language that the cops speak when they pull you over, do you understand and things like that. That's a whole other language. Oh, language. If you study law, mm -hmm. right. you actually study your law. They're getting jurisdiction over you when they ask you those simple questions. Right. So they're saying that I have the rule over you. I have a spoken word over you, basically. And yeah, very, it's real deep. They're very they're very subtle, man. Oh, yeah. It's in their character, you know. Um, you done with that one? No, no, no. no, 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 no. Let, let me finish that. We'll yeah. come in yeah, with yeah. that. A, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall, which shall not regard the person of old, nor show favor to the young. So they don't show favor to anybody. They don't respect the child in his own driveway. They'll shoot him in the back when he's face down. In his they'll, house. Yeah, in I his house. That. I remember that the baseball player. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll they'll shoot him in their house in when the they're. They'll shoot him in the car. They'll shoot him when they're laying down with their hands up. You see that? They don't regard anybody. We got Tamir Rice, he was a little twelve year old in the playground. Yeah. You know, yeah, a toy with, gun. Yeah, with a toy gun. Mm -hmm. uh, another guy just got killed well, holding a BB gun. Uh the guy at Walmart, Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> they killed in the BB gun section. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they the just gun section. Ran in and shot him quick. Right? But they don't do it to the you know, I don't wanna go there, man, because we did this last time. Yeah. Last time they killed us. Mm -hmm. Right? It was it was, you know, it was the, the issue of black and white. Right. Right. It was. Listen, we know the white privilege. These open carry guys can run into a, a Applebee's, all armed with AR-15s on their shoulders, and not a shot fired. See that? Yeah. But a 12-year-old kid can't play with a BB gun. Mm. A retarded man can't hang out with uh, with the, his, his nursemaid with a toy truck mm -hmm. without getting shot at. And then it's, if you're black, it's deep, it's right. deeper, it's, <laughs> right. but it's deeper than black and white. Oh, oh, it's but, deeper than black. It, uh, no, no, I mean because we, well, like I was saying, we gotta, we gotta remember this is stemming from us. Right. You know what I mean? From disobedience. Right. You know what I mean? Anytime we, two or more dark-skinned people are in the same room, the fit, the the whole atmosphere changes. Yeah. You understand? Well, too much power. Oh, jump to verse twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten. Now, who who caused this all to happen? The Lord read shall cause thee to be smitten before thy enemies. The Most High, He's checking us. How? By getting us hit in front of our enemies. Oh, so these aren't our friends that we're supposed to be <laughs> all lives matter with, and uh, you know what? Uh, uh, cops die too. Oh no, it was hands him. across America. Hand, right. hands across. No, 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 no. What was that word it said? Uh, enemies. It said our enemies. Mm -hmm. That means those are people anti us. Right. They're against us in every way, shape, or form. Right. Right. It said our enemies read. Thou shalt go out one way against them. Right. And shalt flee seven ways before them. So when one cop comes in the scene, we scatter like, we, we all scatter. We all disperse. Like roaches when the like, lights come like, Exactly. Why? Because we have no power. There's no power in our hands. Why? Because we were the ones who disobeyed the most high to begin with. But this is the thing, though. I get that. But they're taking it too far. They are. This is the thing. Like, 
there's 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 something called punishment. Mm -hmm. Like like when you beat a child, you punish them. But then there's something called abuse. You go too far. They went too far. Yes. Like we're at the point where it's now an abuse. But it's their character. Yeah. It's their character. They've been like this. Yeah. Like, there's nothing new. They're not created. Everything they everything they do is already it's already scripted. Yeah. Like they go. It's like sitting in the locker room before the big game. You know what plays you're gonna play. Yeah. yeah. You were amazed that the, we did these plays, but we already we know that we, did. That we was gonna do it. No, you. And David prophesied about that. Psalms eighty three, real quick. Psalms eighty three. Because it is scripted. That's what we we don't realize that we we thinking. Oh, this is just ran. This is a random act of uh, of, uh, of violence against the black man out of nowhere. No, it said they were our enemies back then when they came over. Just because we've been in here and we got out of slavery and we're still in this foreign land, guess what? They're still our enemies. Read. Psalms 83 and 2. For lo, thine enemies make atonement. And a tumult. They, a tumult, excuse me. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They've made a trouble. They've made a perpetual trouble against us. Right? And because judgment isn't uh, executed swiftly against them, and they're still around to live and, and perpetuate this this harsh punishment. Right. They lifted up their head. They got prideful in their mind. Like, listen, ain't no God beside me. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to whoop their butt. Right, and that's that's what they're doing, man. Is that okay? Nobody's standing up against me. I've I've been caught on video camera shooting an unarmed person, choking out an unarmed person, and I got held not guilty. Right. So right. now I don't even need an excuse. Why did you yeah. shoot me? I don't, I don't know. know. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, you know what? Right. That's our fault, though, because like 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 Christ said, you err not knowing the scriptures. Right. Because when you go into Ecclesiastes, what is it? No, 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 no. It's oh. not. It's not our fault that Part they're of it. going too far now. No, it's See, no. Here's the thing. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll this one real quick. Psalms one, Psalm seventeen and thirteen. Okay. David says, "Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my spirit from the wicked." which is thy sword. So we know the wicked are the sword of the Most High. Right. right. They were supposed to execute his judgment. Mm -hmm. right. But his judgment didn't include grabbing our babies and opening up a woman's womb and pulling the baby out of the womb and smashing them against trees. Right. It didn't, it didn't involve uh, making sure that they're defiled on every level right. by putting pork in everything, everything every blood thing, in thing. everything. You know what I mean? Uh, it didn't include these type of things like trying to defile us on a cellular level. Yeah. Gene splicing and, and uh, genetically modifying our right. food. It didn't include those that. things. They yeah. overstepped. They way overstepped their bounds. Good and right. that's why the scriptures tell you, man, that because of what they did, because of your violence against your brother Jake. Now, you got to remember, if the Most High says somebody's violent... David was a man after his own heart yeah. for killing ten thousands of people, right? Yeah. But the Most High is saying because of your violence against your brother Jacob. Yeah. See that? What what kind of violence must it be? It must be an excessive type of violence. Yeah. It must be a ridiculous amount of violence that the Most High has to step in. Yeah. Uh, with what? that, with that, hang on. I got. I, got, I just want to got, clear got, up one thing. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead, just go ahead. on it. Uh, Ezekiel <laughs> chapter thirty-five and verse five and verse six. Read that quick, please. Ezekiel thirty-five. Because that that's so it's so. Oh man! And, and then it goes into what it goes into. He who lead who, he who leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity. Ezekiel thirty-five and five. Right. Because Read. thou hast had a perpetual hatred. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Because this is what they continue to do. From, from the time they brought us over here on slave and cargo ships to the time they came down of uh, the, the Caucasus Mountains, they've had a perpetual uh, uh, shedding blood against the children of Israel. Read. By the force of the sword. By their own hand, they do this. With all their crafty, uh, misguided, and mis messed up weapons, they use, they use this against us. Read. In the time of their calamity. Read. In a time that their iniquity had an end. Read. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God. So this is what's going to happen in the because the Most High was like, bro, you went too far. This is what the Most High's got. Right. Read. Because the time I, of our calamity and our iniquity being at an end, that was with slavery and all that. When right. We got freed and everything like that. Right. This knowledge of the truth start coming out in the you know the early 1900s, late uh, 70s, stuff like that. This knowledge of the truth start coming out. Our iniquity was at an end. The Most High was waking us up now. Right. And they're still trying to get us. Right. They still try to think that they're going to win. You know what I mean? And that they're, they're, they're going to be able to take over this world from it's, us. Because it's, it's the way they think, man. It's all about how they think. Hold on. Let, let me finish this real oh. quick. I'm so sorry. No, <laughs> Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, 
I will prepare thee unto blood. So he's got what coming to him? Prepare thee unto blood. He's going to prepare the blood unto them. Read. And blood shall pursue thee. And blood is going to chase them. Right. And you know what? Right on with that. Ecclesiastes 39. Ecclesiastes 39 verse 28 in the Apocrypha. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. It said blood's going to follow them. Chapter right. 39 and what? Uh, 39 verse 28. And verse 28. And there be spirits, and there, I'm sorry, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. Right. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. And this Gavin Long, he's one of those spirits. He, he got that spirit on him. He was created for vengeance. Right. He was molded by the U.S. military, the wicked, right? Oh. <laughs> and and, and yeah. made into a killing machine and let back into their society. Because he's a spirit created for vengeance. Go ahead. And lay on sore strokes. And then their fury, they lay on sore strokes, right? They don't play. They kill three at a time, five at a time. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. In the time of destruction. Right. They leave families decimated. They, they don't care about this guy. Was oh He was an officer of two kids and, and a, a father of two kids and a husband. They don't care about that. Mm -mm. They no. shooting your damn brains all over the street just like you do to us. Go ahead. They pour out their force. Right. And their fury, they pour out their force. You see that? Right. Go ahead. And appease the wrath of him that made them. Oh, they do what? And appease the wrath of him that made them. So the them. Most High made these spirits. Right. right? And they make him happy <laughs> by blowing these cops' brains out all over the street. They make him happy when they kill five and three at a time. See that? Right. Now, for us, you know what? Like like David said, man, when, when they were in calamity, you know what I mean? I prayed for them. That's what we do. We pray for these people. Right. We pray for their families. Right. But the thing is, you know what? Re uh, Revelation 13 and 10, man. You can't deny these scriptures. You can't deny this word. Uh, if you if you decide Revelation that you're going to uh, thirteen and ten live by the sword, right. so to speak, if you decide that you're going to kill innocent people and shed innocent blood, well, the Bible told you what was going to happen. Revelation chapter thirteen and ten: He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. You brought us into slavery. You're going to go into slavery. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword. Afterward, you decided now that we're free, you're just going to use us for target practice. Go ahead. Must be killed with the sword. So you killed with the sword, you killed with your guns, and guess what? Now you're getting gunned down. It's simple as that. There it you is. Know what I mean, now again, these are the words of God. These are the words of Christ. This is not ISBHBK, the hate group. We don't nope. do hate. No. You understand? We too busy trying to build our people up. That's all. Right? For for us to get involved in going out shooting police. See that? But the Most High did create these spirits for vengeance. See that? And they are out there. And you can't stop them. That's the thing. That's what's sad about it is they can't stop them. There's no, there's no little switch in somebody's mind that just clicks and it gives you warning and says, Oh, hey, look, we can, read his, uh, we can read his emails and we can do this. No. You can read a lot of people's emails that are mad about p police brutality, right. uh, police yeah. executions on the street. And then what? You can't tell whether they're going to snap and go shoot everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you keep playing with it. You keep shaking that soda pop. You know what I mean? It's going to blow up. Mm -hmm. Play with fire. You will get burned. Where were you going to go, though? Uh, I just real quick, man. I wanted Psalms chapter 10, verse 7. Okay. Okay. Psalms you know, chap chapter you know, 10. 11. I want you to see the mind state they have and how they already how they already look at us. Psalms chapter 10, verse 7. You said verse chapter 10, verse 7 and 11. Yeah, 7 through 11. Okay. His mouth is full of cursings and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. So just know that. This is his characteristic. This is how he roll. So when you get pulled over, you got to have this in consideration. They're full of mischief. They're full of their fraud. They tell you, oh, wait right here. Everything will be okay. But it's not going to be okay. Read. Uh, verse 8. He sitteth in lurking places at the villages. In the secret places doeth... He murdered the innocent. You wow. see that? He pull you over in the dark. He tell you, hey, pull over there. And yeah. he blow your, blow your brains out. out because that's his spirit. That's how he rolls. Right. Let me get your ID. Yeah. But I'm going to shoot you for yeah. reason. For reason. For for, yeah, first of all, I, you didn't tell me what wow. my crime is for me to even have to identify myself. Mm -hmm. Read. His eyes are privily sit against, set against the poor. See that? He always in the ghettos in the slum riding around looking on who he can throw in the jail. We already broke. 
I'm walking home. What else could I be doing besides being broke and black walking home? Yeah, right. <laughs> Verse 9, he lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doeth catch the poor when he draweth him in his net. This describes nobody better than the police. This right? is how they roll. They, they drag net, remember? Yeah, they <laughs> drag yeah. net. Drag yeah. net. Yeah. That's what they do. And they wait, they wait in those places. And, you know, we don't have a lot of time left and everything. I, uh, I want you to finish the rest of that real quick. Okay. But, uh, you know, we got to go into these. Uh, I want to go and drop these names a little bit just so people have that in their remembrance. Right. You know what I mean? The, these were real-life people. Right. They got shot. Right. The families are decimated now. Right. Because their husbands, their fathers, decided to put on a uniform and overstep their boundaries. Mm. Remember, there, there was... When I was raised in school, man, they told you there was a judicial branch, a legislative branch, and an executive branch, right? Right. And the cops were the executive branch, but the judicial branch had to preside before a man got put to death. Right. Now, when you deal with Dallas, there was no judge there to say, hey, go send a bomb robot to blow this man to bits, of course, except for his ID, not right, illegal. which survived. Uh, yeah, that's not legal. That's not lawful. It's not constitutional. <laughs> right. Yeah. But they took a a bomb robot, a ro- a robot with a bomb attached to it, mm. drove it up to this guy allegedly at about right. two miles an allegedly. hour, and he weighed four hundred and eighty five pounds, and he snuck up on this guy, right? But they blew <laughs> this guy off the map with no hearing. You know what I mean? You take the yeah. the guy that shot all those people in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Uh, shot nine people in the church oh, in yeah, South Carolina, yeah, yeah. right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. He went in there, shot all those people, and they brought him out in handcuffs and gave him a cheeseburger. And a bulletproof vest so he wouldn't be killed. Right, so he wouldn't get killed. Yeah. Same he with the uh, Century 16. <laughs> right. Yeah. The same with the Century 16, uh, the yeah. Dark Knight premiere. Timothy all McMahon. right, right. Yeah, yeah, way back with the uh, with the 13 people, 12 people killed at the Dark Knight premiere. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Put him in handcuffs. He came out with the guns in his hands still. Mm-hmm. And they talked him down, right? And made sure that he got a trial. Mm-hmm. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. This is the land we're in, man. Now we've been beaten. Uh, was it Ezekiel? Uh, or no? I'm sorry, Ze- Zechariah eleven and five. Uh, about uh, whose possessor slay them? Right. right. And hold themselves right. not guilty. Right. Right. We've yeah. been beating that one to death. But you guys got to understand, we're in this land. We're in that land where our possessors are slaying us. They're holding themselves not guilty. Our possessors are wicked. And so the most high is stepping in now. Right. And he's saying, okay, those that kill with the sword must be killed with the sword. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See that? Yeah. Now, uh, for the families of Montrell Jackson, Matthew Gerald, uh, Brad, this one's a hard one, Garofalo, Brad Garofalo, for those officers that were killed by Gavin Long, uh, you know, our hearts go out to you, but know this. Your, your men, your off these officers put on that that uniform, yeah. and they took they put their lives on the line. And if they were if them and their fellow officers were so afraid of the situations they were going to get in that they have to shoot first and then ask questions later, mm-hmm. they should not have put themselves in that line of work because we got brothers and sisters dying every day in Iraq and Afghanistan and all over the Middle East, right? Mm-hmm. With a heavier uniform on, with heavier weapons, mm-hmm. right? That say, you know what? I'm not going to shoot unless I get shot at. They, right. They're they're like a gang, man. They're yeah. like gangs. They're the biggest. Like, yeah, if you look at, it's like Chicago, man. Like these cats don't ask no questions. They just chop you down, and that's how the police are. They're just a, a gang, a gang with a, a shiny badge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. true. That's it. So they can't be surprised when another gang arises and <laughs> starts shooting down. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah, it is. When another guy that can get a AR-15 from a pawn shop decides he's going to lose his damn mind and use his military training back on them, they can't. Right. They can't get upset. Yeah, a, a, a military guy with uh, with uh, PTSD. The scripture says uh, oppression makes a wise man mad. Right, right. You understand? Yeah. That's Ecclesiastes in the in the Bible, chapter seven and verse seven. Right. Hey, I'll tell you this: I don't. We don't rejoice in the death of our enemies and in the, in the no. calamities of the wicked and everything. But the scriptures do say, "My eyes shall see my desire on my enemies." Right. So we're we're seeing this. We twelve tribes, we're seeing the desire. Of the Most High on our enemies, the prophecies, that, and so we're not going to cry. We're not going to shed no tears. We're not going to sit there and cheer and rejoice. But at the same time, you will not see a tear shed 
for none of these three officers because all these officers go out there and decide that they're going to kill unarmed black men, Hispanic men, Native American men. Uh, you're seeing a lot more of that even. Right. Right? But, uh, you know, that right. was my final closing thought. Can yeah. I close with the scripture? Close with the scripture, man. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 18. Mm -hmm. It says, according to their deeds, accordingly he will repay. Wow. So the Most High is repaying them according to what they've been doing. Wow. Fury to his adversaries. Mm -hmm. Recompense to his enemies. So the Most High is, everything that the Most High is doing is just. All these spirits that he's sending down, it's a just recompense and a just reward for what these people have been doing. Right, right. Just like he doesn't forget your, your, uh, your, your labor, labor of love and works. Yeah. He ain't going to forget your sin. He ain't going to forget that, bro. That, that was a, so what you going to do so that. when the Most High put judgment on you? Oh, <laughs> what you going to do, brother? <laughs> But uh, with that, uh, this has been another edition of ISB HBK The News. You can come join our classes Monday and Wednesday from 7 to 10 p.m., Friday from 6 to 9 p.m., and Saturday from uh, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Also, we do classes now in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and uh, also in Dallas now. So, uh, you know, keep, keep uh, up to date. Keep with us on your, on your local YouTube channel. Uh, to keep up and abreast about when we do our classes and where. Uh, you can also contact us on the YouTube page, uh, the ISBHBK YouTube page, the chat. Uh, you can contact us through Facebook, Israelite School of Biblical History and Practical Knowledge. And please like, share, and subscribe uh, to our videos. Share them with your friends so that uh, you know the news, the real news, can get out from that biblical perspective. But with that, we're going to say Shalom. 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 Hebrews are coming, yeah. Hebrews are coming, coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand.